Channel One's gone all posh today. We're at the Sitna Elite Technicians Challenge. As you can see behind me, there's a red carpet and some really prestigious vehicles. This is about as high-end a skills competition as you can get. It's a glittering occasion for the best technicians working for the biggest dealership group in the country. It's all about showcasing skills and the expertise of their people, as Melvin Rogers, Director of Human Resources from the Sitna Group, explains. And the idea of launching a competition where we could actually recognise the talent and recognise their expertise and the hard work and effort that they put in and the great result that they deliver to the business um, was just what we needed to focus on. So we wanted to work um, instantly. We thought about our connection with the IMI. Um, having known Steve for quite some time and being a board member of the IMI, I thought well, it would be good to get them involved so we could have somebody who's completely impartial and independent in actually putting together the tests and an online portal where we could use that across the UK in a very slick way to have a level playing field. Today's competition features 30 technicians from 10 of the brands from across the Sitna network. These guys are going head to head in a gladiatorial contest in front of the media, company executives and the glitterati of the motor industry. Apart from the glory of winning, 10 winners today will be taken in June to the Detroit Grand Prix. Well, it looks great and the atmosphere is electric, but what's it all for? Here's Darren Edwards, the CEO, to explain. Well, if you think about our after sales department, it probably uh, accounts for about 40, 45% of our overall profitability in any one year. Um, you know, we invest millions in training, uh, the majority of which goes towards our technical training for, for, for these guys. So I think this is a great way to sort of really recognise the fact that we've invested in this training and um, you know, these guys are now showing their skills for the world to see and uh, isn't it great to be able to recognise our team but from a business point of view it's just elevating that level of training and skill that's required. So how serious is this competition? Well, the IMI has set the task and is doing the invigilation. And our boss, Steve Nash, says it's as tough as it gets. This is the best possible example of professionalism at work. But obviously we have specific competencies as the industry's biggest awarding body. We have a, a huge competence around invigilation and making sure that this whole operation is being run just like a, a nationally accredited exam. And that's where, what we've brought to it. And you know, that's something we could bring to any organisation that wants to do something similar to this. But, but you know, this is really at the, the very highest level. The great thing about a competition like this, and, and the reason why I would commend it to other organisations as, as a process, is that what we're seeing here is the sort of tip of the iceberg, you know, the best of the best competing to, to be the ultimate winners for their brands but actually it's a huge uh, training needs analysis exercise because you know the online test which the majority of their technicians across the brands have taken has enabled them to actually assess you know training needs for the whole organization and actually it's a big cost benefit for them because they can help raise the standards of professionalism in their entire brand networks and you know so they see it as a, a major investment and I think that 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 is something I'd commend to other organizations too. Now all great events like this start with a really good idea so whose inspiration was this? Andrew McLeod. Earlier on he was telling me about his vision. Well, it allows them to use our training platform we've uh, developed with the IMI uh, to influence what questions to be asked. So it allows them to have a huge reach into their dealer network because we are such a large business partner for them. 
So it allows them to take back data uh, and we can share that data with them, allowing them to develop their own programs and also to us to work on weaknesses that we feel that we could approve in the workplace. it the end of a great day thanks to Sitna for inviting us the uh, the winners are obviously delighted and the bosses seem quite pleased too we'll see you again soon on channel one